next stop was to the Colosseum National Park, located 300 meters above the Sea of Galilee and contains ruins of an ancient Byzantine town. It's not just two rocks or just a synagogue or just a house. We have everything with the synagogue and the bat ritual, the mikveh, accommodation of the people, olive press, wine press found a few months ago. In the 16th century, it was home to Jewish fishermen and was apparently one of the cities condemned by Jesus. Jesus came from Kepanachum to Chorazim, to the synagogue. He talked to the people. They say thank you. We are okay. Jesus came from Kparnachum to Korazim, so today we can do that walk backwards. Do that walk in this Kparnachum. heat right now. Jesus came here. He said, All the miracles and everything I did here, you saw in your own eyes. And you don't come with me? Shame on you. We're standing in the synagogue of the Jewish village of Korazim, dated to the 4th and the 5th century. And what is this? This is the seat of Moses, maybe rabbi, maybe a head of the community used to sit on it. You can sit. Yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Think that you are the rabbi, the head of the community. They are praying to Jerusalem and you are, look at them. I am so hot. How we know that this is a synagogue? We have letters in Aramic. It's letters that we can read today. It's uh, similar to the Hebrew. Keep All that we have here is a decoration from the synagogue. Medusa. Yeah, it is. In the fourth century, the Judaism is strong and confident. Right. And we don't have any problem, it's just art. Yeah, you can see the grapes here and you... Okay. Yeah. You can see the grapes and you can see those kids holding hands. They are standing barefoot on the grapes and making wine. Right. We found it maybe almost 100 years ago. And it was really nice until uh, four months ago that we discovered a new wine press in Korazim, the first one. Is that a fish? We're in the wine press right now. I'm a Pisces, and this is the original floor, right? Exactly. This is, you could tell, a lot of detail and a lot of hard work to make it look presentable and unique and, you know, beautiful. Usually those mosaic floor that used to wine press was very simple. Right. It was all white. But here... You could see some blue. Exactly. You can see it's all decorated. This one, and we have colors, maybe gray and blue and red. And this one goes this way. And this one goes this way. So it's very well decorated and very nicely. And the main thing, it's the only one that we have in Korazim. So you can assume that whoever lived here, whoever worked here, whoever participated in the creation was very well. Probably. First level, you can put it here and... Step on here. Step on here, barefoot, just like this, and all the juice... On the mosaic. Away. And I see that there are stairs going down to this well-looking thing. This is the hole that all the juice, the wine juice, yeah. it goes just in here. You can get down and put it on jars it. and take it to other places. The first wine that you're gonna get is the one that you are pressing on the ground. Press on, on the ground. This is the best one for the kings, for the temple. That's why you're pressing it on such great, great mosaic. Exactly. <laughs> and it's new, just four months. Four months, they have so much more to see, so much more to explore. All right, let's continue. Olive press factory. We have two parts. The first one, when we put the olives, and then with a donkey or two men, that one of them is the donkey. Right. You have like a stick here, like a wooden stick. Exactly, wood, yeah, from wood, and you push. And then you can take everything from here and to put it in some basket. The baskets, let's say, are here, one on top of the other with the olive exactly. oil. Exactly, they put it here. And then we have a wood, like this way. Okay. Like an arch. And a big screw. And they put it like this, all, all around, and Keep pressing and pressing. Keep pressing and pressing and pressing. Oh. And we have the olive oil through here and there. Okay. This is a house, a very large accommodation, maybe one dunam. It's large even today. And we can see the method that they used in the 4th and the 5th century. We have like a window wall and an arch wall. We 
continue exploring. Thank you so much, Dekel, for having us here, showing us around, teaching us some things that we normally would have never known and never learned about. So thank you so much. We will continue exploring. Thank you for coming.